This is a true story. The retreat at Glotzen forced the traitors to proceed to the next operation immediately. At last we come to the Great Battle of Cavaltus. I have a favor to ask of you, Captain. I'm frustrated about the battle at Glotzen, so please win the next one for us, sir. That's your favor? Yes, sir. That's it. You're a little close. Oh, sorry. Anyway, the anti-war movement's gotten really vocal lately. They say an army who can't admit defeat is an embarrassment, that we should surrender to Ruse before it's too late. Hans, what are your thoughts on our last battle? Me, sir? Um, I think I'm glad everyone here came out safe. To me, Vanergund is more than a unit. It's an inspiration. The Anti-Valkyria Squad is the face of Jutland's liberation. That's why I'm so happy you all made it back in one piece. Oh no! Bridget, wipe that look off your face. Nothing wrong with that. Don't let anyone tell you different. Yes, sir! Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Goodness gracious, was that... Did he just... smile? No way! What? Oh, I missed it! You should have said something sooner! Ow, that hurts! They're all so charmed by your singing, milady. It is strange. I do not know the full extent of this magic. However, now that I am aware of it, I can feel it inside me. A power sprung from every breath and rising with each note. A power for fighting the Valkyria? Nay, not for fighting. Tis a spark of light and life, like the warmth of a newborn star. Does that make any sense? Judging by their expressions, it really does. Anyway, you sure have visited a lot of new places in a short amount of time. I am not exactly sightseeing. Of course not, but haven't you already experienced more than you ever would have otherwise? True. Even though they were under the Empire's control, every land I've traveled to had its own unique lifestyle. No matter how much Ruse took, the hearts of these nations still beat strong. It gives me hope for their liberation. That's one way to look at it. But even though the Ruzi colonies are being oppressed, they'll accept it as long as they can keep their cultures. In other words, the Empire left their customs intact. For example, if festivals and holidays are left alone, people can let off steam and relieve their frustrations. Ah. Oh. And then, oddly enough, they start convincing themselves that the Emperor understands them. Some say that's why they've accepted a foreign regime. Claudius, that tyrant, he's downright insidious. Just so. Looking back on the history of Europa, tyrannical governments can only impose their rule by force for so long. Conquerors who disregard the traditional cultures of their colonies are inevitably overthrown by rebels and insurgents. Until we unmask the insidious nature of his reign, 
We cannot truly claim to have liberated anyone. Jutland has to lead Europa into opening its own eyes. Then you should sing to the countries you've liberated, too. I beg your pardon? Music heals the soul and rejuvenates the people's spirits, including mine. Your Highness's voice could rally the whole world together. Thank you, Miranda. Now go on and sing. They've been waiting all this time. Indeed. Next is Freit Erikson and Violet Sand. Figured you'd show up sooner or later. Heard you already met with Solomon. Indeed. You're a strange guy. You seek us out, but don't sling any criticism or support our way. What exactly are you after? I honestly don't know. I just want to meet you all. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm nothing more than a writer, an essayist. We each have our own jobs. All of which aid you in your current endeavors. It takes an extraordinary amount of willpower to remain devoted to a single cause so thoroughly for ten years. After the orphanage burned, a teacher took me in. I spent my days in a house filled with books and devoured all of them. That's how I learned about the power of words. I eventually started writing for newspapers to see more of the world. And then you went freelance? Wanted to broaden my horizons further, that's all. And did you? There's still a great deal I don't know, but I like learning. It gives me something I can call my own. You know, I was initially opposed to the war. The five of us fought about it more than a few times. But eventually I came around. Our whole lives were erased. They tried to bury the truth, but they forgot to bury us. So we decided it was time to fight. But enough about that. Let me ask you, will you take action against us? No, I have only love for this country. And I think I best serve this country by fighting alongside you all. You're a strange man. I won't argue that. Lieutenant Sand. So you came. I heard about you from Amlet. I'm surprised you were able to find me. It wasn't easy. Why not use that determination for Jutland? That's what has brought me to all of you. It seems you know about us, yet you don't try to stop us. If there's one thing I've learned about the Captain, it's no use trying to stop him once he set his mind to something. Yes, it's no use trying to stop it. For that very reason I want you to continue. Your fervor will ensure Jutland's victory, and that is all that matters. You plan to exploit us? Not unlike how you're exploiting this country. And we're prepared to accept the consequences for that. Ever since the day we decided to do this. Satisfied? Yes. You're an unusual person. I get that a lot.
Welcome. Have a good one. Hmm? What is it? What's the matter? Welcome. Come again! Anytime. 